All right, Scorpio, this is a soulmate energies update for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus from about the time frame of right now, which is August 2nd, right up through Lionsgate, right up through probably about the full moon around the 22nd of August. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. If you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. I am shit at tagging and marketing. Uh, it's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Scorpio, in my pre-shuffle, Six of Swords. Somebody wants to smooth things out with you. Somebody's coming. They don't know how. They've been working up the nerve. I'll prove it to you. They want to build a foundation, the Three of Pentacles, but underneath that is Sarah Gilbert. They don't know how. Two of Swords. Not sure what they're going to do. Do I go left? Do I go right? How am I going to come in? Get Scorpio. Devil energy's underneath that. They're a little bit obsessed about it. Somebody thinking a lot about you. That's just the pre-shuffle. I asked the universe why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Now let's uh, pull some cards. Let's shuffle the deck for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Soulmate energies. August 2nd through, you know, the, around the 22nd, right up through Lionsgate, like I said. Let's see. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I got the Magician. <laughs> uh, somebody's waiting for the right time. It's a card of timing here in this position. The, the Magician has great timing. Any good Magician has to have great timing. Look over here. They, it's a lot of misdirection and all that kind of stuff. So I'm about timing here before the cut. Let's see where we go after the cut. That'll be the clarifier card for the before the cut card. What we got? <laughs> They're spying again, as I said on a quickie yesterday and on the uh, All Signs reading. The spying energy has really picked up. I saw a barn owl yesterday. During the day, a white owl in a white tree, a eucalyptus tree. Good fucking luck spotting that. I spotted it. I don't even know how. I just happened to look up. I heard something and I looked up and there it was. Not a single soul on earth would have spotted that owl. The reason the barn owl is important is that's the page of swords in my animal deck. It's a barn owl. It's about spying. They're watching you. They're waiting for the right time to come in. They, they're coming. I feel it. I feel it in the energy. I feel it with that six of swords. It's a slow moving energy. That boat ain't got no motor on it. And she don't look like she's doing a whole lot of paddling. But... Uh, having three birds poet, three birds of communication tells me somebody wants to straighten something out here. Somebody's on their way. We'll give the deck a final shuffle. We'll get our overall energy for the reading. Now, the universe wants to talk about a third party. Uh, your person is single and free to pursue. They're done. Finished. Over. They found their independence. They've been getting their shit together with their pentacles. For some reason, your person bases their self-worth a little bit on their financial status or status in general, be it financial or social or both, all right? And I always pull one clarifier for my overall energy. This whole reading is clarifying this Nine of Pentacles, everything I just told you. They're coming. Underneath it, as you saw by accident, is the Wheel of Fortune. And underneath that is the Hierophant. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune turned for a long-term commitment on their side. They're now single and free to pursue. Just like this girl on this card, that's my party girl, clarifying this Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. That's my party girl, she don't even take her jacket off, she'll go out to the Trans Am with your legs out the T-tops. Let me tell you right now. Male or female, they're coming in with some communication. It's a card of communication. We got our shuffle, let's see where we go. This whole reading clarifies somebody's single and free to pursue. If you're not in a third party, it doesn't have to be uh, a marriage. It could be just uh, free from a job that's been jamming them up. Free from a family dynamic that's maybe mom, mommy didn't like you. And they told mommy to go fuck off. I don't know. Let's pull some cards. Let's not prejudge. I do these readings from a neutral perspective. All readings must be done from a neutral perspective. All right? That's my tip for tarot readers for the day. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. Right here's the uh, hidden energies, what the universe wants you to know, and I'm going to tell you. And right here's the final outcome. And right here's our fucking reading. And uh, I'm going to throw some, I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. And if I think we need to extend it, I will. 
I feel like we're going to get all the information here. I'll be honest with you. I can already do the reading without the cards. I know where this is going. I ain't looked at no cards. I'll leave them right here. I don't know what's in there. All I know is what's at the bottom of the deck at Page of Wands. What's the energy around the connection right now? But if I do extend it, there's a link in the description. And don't be offended if I don't. I'm not here to nickel and dime nobody. I'm here to do some tarot and read some energy. Mostly read energy. The tarot cards are just pretty pictures for you. What's the energy around the connection? Knight of Wands, they're coming. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I could say all kinds of things. They're a little bit emotionally immature. It's my older sister of the party girl. Got a cigarette burning out on the damn bongo drum. Somebody's going to be pissed about that. But regardless, they're coming. The Knight of Wands, they want to charge in. Something about timing here, though. We saw that. How do they feel in their emotions? There's that devil again. Obsession. Same thing. They're obsessed. This is an obsessed energy. This is an obsession for coming towards you. It's an erratic energy. It's irrational. It's spontaneous behavior. Snap your finger. Here they are. Boom. Like Samantha the Witch on Bewitched. Just snap your finger. Boom. Pop. They bang in. Right here. They're obsessed. As it, when the devil falls in how someone feels in their emotions, they're obsessed. That's all I'm getting off that card. And there's that Trans Am. I talked about this girl. I talked about it before. I talked about this girl out there. This is the shirtless, glitter-haired, Trans Am driving asshole like we always say around here. Right here. This girl ain't even take her jacket off yet. Ain't even had a beard. She's got legs up in the Trans Am. She'll go right out to the car with this fucker. She'll go, just like my party girl here, 35 years old, the older sister of the page, still the older sister of this girl at the same party, male or female, there's just girls on the cards. Both of these girls will do you. <laughs> Straight up. It's obsession. They're obsessed with you. Right here. How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. There's old Sarah Gilbert. Two of swords. They don't know how to come in. They know they want to come in. They know they can come in. They're obsessed. They're thinking about you constantly. It's driving them batshit crazy. You got that fancy Trans Am. They love it. It's got T-tops. Stick my legs right up the roof. Ah, it's great. It's great. I had a friend in high school that had a Trans Am. I tell you about that all the time. His name's Jody. It was a Burt Reynolds Trans Am, a white one, with the T-tops. I believe he would attest. It's a good fucking car. Let me tell you, it really is. You get them, you know, you take them T-tops off. There's a lot of leg room there, right here. They're not sure how to come in. Two of Swords. They're at a crossroads, blindfolded, not sure what to do. They know they want to do it. Hidden energy, red with this Knight of Wands. What's the universe wants you to know? Three of Pentacles coming to work on some things. Almost the entire bottom of the deck came up to the top in a slightly different order. It's amazing. It's like the whole reading was at the bottom of the deck. Right here. Page of Pentacles. Oh, uh, Three of Pentacles. They want to work on things. They're a little bit emotionally immature, your person. I see it here. I see it here. I see it here. And I see it here. It's just all cards of emotional immaturity. But they do know that they want to build a foundation. They want to give some trust. There's something about trust here. we got to have some trust between us. They want to come rushing in. They're obsessed. They don't know how to do it. And they can do it. Nine of Pentacles. They feel like they can do it. They're making their own decisions now. The old person's making their own decisions. They decided which kind of falcon they wanted to get. Am I going to get a lantern falcon? Or am I going to get a Saker Falcon? Or maybe a Hybrid? Am I going to get a Peregrine? A Prairie Falcon? Am I going to get a Kestrel? What am I going to get? Look, look to me like they settled on a Geyer Falcon. <laughs> By the color of it. <laughs> That's the biggest Falcon. He's a big boy. The biggest one in North America, anyway. This person's got getting their shit together or got it together, one or the other. Making their own decisions now. Big girl, big boy. Right here is the final outcome. Red with all this obsession. Look who's back. Six of swords. This person's coming in. 
They're coming slowly because they don't know how to do it. Sarah Gilbert's jamming this thing up. Washed up sitcom star jamming this whole damn thing up. Two of swords. Do I go left? Do I go right? How do I come in? How do I approach? What do I do? Oh shit, my cigarette's on the drum. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What am I going to do? It's a real frantic energy. It's a real obsession. It's like she wants to go out to the car. She wants to go out to the Trans Am. She wants to go out to the Trans Am. Even Sarah Gilbert, although it's not her orientation, still wants to go out to the Trans Am. And this fucker can't find the keys. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. I can have a foursome and I can't find the keys. You know, it's like that kind of energy that's around this. Imagine that moment. You're one shot at a foursome and you can't find the keys to your Trans Am. Fuck. Oh, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> That's what's going on here. That's what's in the energy. But they're moving a little bit slow towards you. They want to set things right. They want to talk to you. They want to straighten things out. Sarah Gilbert's just jamming it up. Let's clarify. Why is my older sister party girl here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? How's the Knight of Wands here? Because they realized some things. The Ace of Swords. It's epiphany inside that bleeds out to the outside. That comes from inside out to the outside. Don't let anyone read this card. I've seen this card read that something comes in from the outside and you realize it on the inside. That's not how light works. Whoever says that doesn't have any kind of grasp of the laws of physics. It starts on the inside. It's an epiphany. Poof! And then it goes out and it diffuses the way light does. It goes out into the world. It's a card of communication. They want to reach out. They've realized how probably how fucking awesome you are. Why? What, what, what have they realized? Why is the Ace of Swords here? They, have, they realize they've been breadcrumbing something that they love. Something that they're obsessed about. They obviously love you. They've been breadcrumbing you probably because of this third party, this Nine of Pentacles that they weren't free from before. So they were breadcrumbing you. Now they're coming to bring you the whole loaf and they know they better bring it quick. In the meantime, this fucker in here needs to find his keys. He's got all this banging that could potentially be happening and he can't find the keys to the Trans Am. That's the energy I'm getting off it. Apply it to your story however you need to. But, you know, male or female, there's no genders here. I'm just going by what's on the cards. But these, these we, get, we got three girls here standing outside this car, cold, wanting to go in. With their pants around their ankles. And this fucker's looking for the keys. I'm locked out. I don't know what to do. They're frantic. They are obsessed. And I, I read the energy the way I, I convey the energy to you the way it's here because I feel it. So the way I'm behaving right now with this frantic behavior, that's what's going on. The devil, why is it here? Why are they so fucking obsessed? Well, they can't find the keys. Oh, that's a start. Five of Cups. Yeah, they're so obsessed because they feel the loss of this connection. They know they've been breadcrumbing you. Six of Pentacles, the connection's out of balance and they've realized how great it is and now they feel the loss, the Five of Cups. And why is the Five of Cups here? The Seven of Swords. Because they spent all this time trying to sneak away and lie to themselves that they didn't feel this obsession. Whenever you try to suppress, look at the color match on these cards. Whenever you try to suppress emotions, you try to, you know, let's say you love someone, right? And you just tell yourself, no, I don't, no, no, Nope. And then you go home and, I, and they're all you think about. You just can't stop thinking about them. But you're still saying, nope, nope, lying to yourself, seven of swords, trying to sneak away. Nope, keeping it a secret. Nope. That's a volcano. And volcanoes, that's an active volcano. And active volcanoes always blow at some point. It might take a while. Six of swords, it's been a while. They always blow at some point. It's been a slow boat. But it's blown. Their volcano has blown. They felt the loss of this. They don't want to lose you. They feel like, oh my God, I fucked up. Yeah, you did. You totally fucked up. What's the Two of Swords? What's Sarah Gilbert doing here? Why do I got to look at a washed up sitcom star? Why? Why is she here? The person who drew these cards was a horny 15-year-old boy watching Roseanne reruns. I'll tell you what. But he likes Falcons, so I'm all right with him. 
Why is the two of swords here? How they feel about you. They don't know how to come in. They don't know how to do it. And it's blocking all this frantic energy. Why is the two of swords here? Why? 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 Two of pentacles. Don't know what to do. So confused. It's about confusion. Her ass is on the front. She's fucked up. I'm like, I'm fucked up. Why is my ass on the front? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That's going to be weird in the Trans Am. You're going to be face down in the passenger seat while your legs are up the T-tops. That's fucked up. Right here, two of pentacles. They don't know what to do. They don't have a clue. Uh, it's two cards of confusion, crossroads, two of swords, blindfolded, two of pentacles, can't decide, should I come in this way, should I do this, should I do that? Why is the two of pentacles here? Please don't give me more confusion. Queen of Swords, because they got something they want to say. They're also worried about how they're going to come in because they're worried that you might tell them to go fuck off. Queen of Swords cuts things out. She don't take no shit, male or female. Don't matter what you are. That's, that's why they don't know what to do. They're not sure how you're going to receive them. I'll put it to you that way. Well, yeah, I'd be wondering whether I want this person in my Trans Am or not. Do your ass is backwards. This is all weird. I can't find anything. I don't know where it all is down there. It's all in the wrong place. What the hell is going on? I mean, my God, if her ass is on the front, shit. I don't know. I mean, you know where I'm going with that. You know, <laughs> I, I can't find nothing. I mean, it's not. It's not all in the regular spot. What the hell? There's a lot of confusion here. They're worried about how you're going to receive them. The universe wants you to know they want to build a foundation. They want to build some trust. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? This is a very cut and dry reading. Eight of, eight of Wands. They want, to, they want to reach out. That's the epiphany they had. Oh shit, I've been breadcrumbing something really awesome that I obviously am obsessed over and have some real feelings for because I'm feeling the loss. We don't feel the loss. This is Five Cups. We don't feel the loss if there isn't something to feel the loss over. Right? I mean, if, if it's something we hate and it's dead, done, and over, we're not feeling five cups. We're like, woohoo! You know, if someone's an asshole to me out in public, I'm thrilled to be back in my car driving down the road and never have to see that fucker again. No, this is someone who really loves you. We don't get the Three of Swords without love. We don't get the Five of Cups without losing something we love. It's cups. They want to reach out. Eight of Wands. The universe wants you to know that. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know how you're going to receive them. They're afraid you're going to cut them out. And they've already lost something on their side. Something already ended. They're not in a position to deal with more rejection. They're feeling good about themselves. They got the right falcon. And they're very happy to have this falcon. And all these pentacles, they're getting their life together. The last thing they want to do is be rejected by something that they actually already rejected in the past. And they wouldn't blame you for rejecting them. But they don't want to feel a second loss. Nobody wants to be rejected twice. You know, that's double loss. That's bad. Why is the Eight of Wands here? I think they'll get past it. I see it in the final outcome with the Six of Swords. I'm sure we'll see some cards here that show that. I could get egg on my face, and if I do, I won't edit the video. I'll let you see I was wrong. Because I'm just a person with a really cool ability to be able to read energy, which comes in very handy in the real world. Because people are fucking liars. And I spot them like a, you know, <laughs> I can see them through a mile worth of fog right here. Hey, it's always come in handy. Why is the Eight of Wands here? There he is. Kurt Cobain in pain, the Three of Swords. I was talking about it just a moment ago around that Five of Cups. They love you. And they've, and they've lost something already. That's one slash. They don't want the second slash. But they already kind of feel the second slash, which is the slash through the heart with your connection because they breadcrumbed you. The connection's out of balance. They don't have you. And they're not sure how to get you. And they're not sure how you're going to react, how you're going to respond, how you're going to receive them. But they know they love you, and they know they fucked up, and they've spent a lot of time lying to themselves about how they felt about you. And that was a fuck up too. And now the volcano blew and they're obsessed. And they're feeling disappointed in themselves. A lot of disappointment around this car. Disappointment for how they treated you in the past. 
A lot of times, we call it a breadcrumbing card, the Six of Pentacles, but a lot of times it's just someone who's stingy with their feelings, with their money. It's a love reading, so it's probably feelings. Maybe they were stingy with their money too with you. I don't know. You know? Cheapy cheater, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know they feel bad for it, whatever it is, and they want to reach out. Let's see if they do. They're single and free to do it. Maybe they'll let you pet their falcon in a Trans Am. I bet they would if you could figure out where the hell their falcon is with their ass on the front. What, where the fuck is everything? Six of Swords. Why is it here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Let's see what's our final, final here, universe. What's this person going to do? They want to come in. They want to communicate. They, they regret the past. They know that some trust needs to be built. I want to smooth things out. What do we got? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is red with the Five of Cups. Your real burden on their mind. You're heavy on their mind. This loss, the loss they're feeling of you, the loss of whatever got them single and free to pursue, is heavy on their mind. They want to put an end to this burden. And they know it's through communication with you that's going to put an end to the Ten of Wands and make Kurt Cobain over here. That's Kurt Cobain. Feel a little better. What's the final final? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is red with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is them lying to themselves in the past about how they felt which got them into this obsessed mess in the first place. Queen of Wands is a card of a lot of passion but it's also a card of pretense they're gonna they they, they they're gonna come in with a mask on i'm gonna pull a crossing card here because the queen of wands tells me they feel a lot of passion for you they know how they feel for you now inside inside they know how they feel on the outside they're still pretending a little bit oh it's all good it's yeah it's fine it's it's fine everything's good everything's not good because the Queen of Wands is clarifying the Ten of Wands, and before that is Kurt Cobain and Payne. Everything is not good. They've lost something, they've rebuilt, or in the process of rebuilding. They're single and free to pursue. They're putting their life together. They see that you're higher up the food chain than they are. Your life is more together than theirs is. Again, roles can be reversed here. It's a general reading, but for 90% of you, I'm reading the incoming energy. That's how I do my readings. Let's see what happens here. Give me a crossing card on the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. What's the affecting energy here? The King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is stability and long-term and long-term growth. And at the bottom of the deck, I mean, the King of Pentacles is who you want to be seen as. This is your energy. They're coming to get the Queen of Pentacles. They are wearing a little bit of a mask. Judgment at the bottom of the deck crossing that. They're worried. Eight of Swords. They're worried about coming in. They got a lot of passion for you. The King of Wands. I got a King and Queen of Wands here. I got a divine connection. You're a good match if they can get over themselves. At the end of the day, we got victory coming here. We got the Six of Wands. They're going to put on their short, 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 short skirt. Which will make it handy in that Trans Am, won't it? <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's a handy skirt right there. That's what that is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Judgment tells me that this is happening. The universe stepping in. They want a second chance with you. They're fixing to come get it. They're worried about it. They don't know. They're in, we're in a position right now at the case of this reading. They're not quite sure. They're not sure how you're going to receive them. There's a lot of confusion here in how they feel about you. And confusion a little bit about how you feel about them. Let me point that out. Let's pull some universe cards. Anything else uh, Scorpio needs to know here for their greater good? How about what can Scorpio expect from this person? What are they going to do? What's this judgment? Let's clarify judgment here. What are they going to do? Ace of Cups. A cup of love that hasn't been given to you, and it's leaking. Anal leakage out the Ace of Cups. 
That cellophane's fixing to come off, I bet. King of Cups. Again, they're going to hold back a little bit. This person's not good at expressing emotions. They feed The King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups. He got a full cup of love, but he don't give the full cup. One foot on the land, one foot on the water, he gives just a little. Not good at sharing their emotions. But at the end of the day, Three of Cups, it's a card of union. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of water flowing. It's a card of water. The flow of water. It's a very powerful card. It's a card of magic. It's painted purple in the background for a reason. At the bottom of the deck, there's healing coming to this connection. The Four of Swords is at the bottom. That's healing. The Nine of Wands. Your person's wall is there, but I, be, I feel it's coming down. They are waiting for the right time to come in. And with the Seven of Wands, I read this as someone who's a little bit defensive, which is why they're holding back. Again, there's a lot of fear for how you're going to receive them. A lot of fear for it. But underneath that, I can only go five cards deep. That's one, two, three, four. Well, that's the sixth card. The sixth card would be the Ace of Wands. That's the new beginning. They got to push past their fears of how of, of these fears. If they if they push past these fears, there's a brand new beginning coming for you guys. There really is. The universe seems to think they will with these three cards here. This Ace of Cups is a cup of love that hasn't been given that they've been holding on to. The King of Cups tells me they're still going to hold on to a little of it. Okay? But it's I see it's leaking here. It's leaking out. And with the Three of Cups coming out here, this is a card of communication. It is a card of communication, but it is a catar it, it, a catard. It is a, a card that tells me, because it's minor arcana, that it's contingent and the answer isn't known by the universe. It's contingent on whether or not they can push past this confusion and this worry about how you're going to receive them. Okay? That's really what it boils down to. That's your reading. That's what it is. That's what we got here. I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who shares. My guess is I give it 80-20. 80% this person pushes past the fear and comes in because we've got some powerful cards of frantic and obsession kind of thing. The volcano has blown. And the Eight of Wands did come out in the universe section. It says communication. They know communication is going to solve Kurt Cobain's problems here and also alleviate these Ten Wands of Burden. I don't think if they do come... Well, I do think if they do come... They're probably going to be wearing a little bit of a mask and withholding. They're not going to show you everything they've got in the love department. But a good chunk of it. A chunk of it, anyway. For the other 20% of you, it's going to cycle back around. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks extra. While they try and figure it out. But they're not going anywhere. That I can tell you, for 100% of you, it's a very powerful connection. It is not going anywhere. Uh, they're not going to forget you. They're not going to, you know, it, it, if they walk away, they'll be back. That kind of thing. All right. That's your reading, Scorpio. All right. Good luck.